Hey, hello everyone, I'm Shurjan and you are watching SDB ZX YouTube channel. I'm back with another guide video and this time I'm making it for Yaimiko. Now we already know that Yaimiko is coming in next month uh, from the official uh, Mihoyo Twitter handle. Now all we have to do is making some you know uh, videos or you can say some uh, important notes for pre farm. Now uh, almost everybody in Genshin Impact do pre farm because it's easy to um, make your character level up faster um, if you uh, go into pool for the character you want you know like that way i did for right and shogun and many other characters to be honest um, but to be uh, but for uh, some character you cannot be from uh, uh, for because uh, you know artifact and some level of talent and, and etc uh, come a little late later i mean uh, with the character actually so it's really uh, hard to do and for some cases uh, we don't even know that the character is coming for example eula uh, i nobody knows that eula is coming uh, because company didn't release any information at all so we didn't know but for um her case uh, it's different uh, it's a little bit different i can say uh, so let's uh, dig in and also this is gonna be a very quick video so it's not gonna be like a 20 minute or 50 minute long all uh, discussion will be done in one video maybe five to six minutes i will try to make as short as possible so let's dive in so I'm taking an example for uh, for now, uh, just to, uh, just in case. So she is a catalyst uh, character most probably. So uh, let's take an example with uh, Sucrose. So let's go for with the weapon first. So uh, for uh, a character like Yaimiko, who is look like a pretty much a DPS character, uh, need a DPS type of weapon. Obviously, you cannot uh, use uh, you know support weapon or for a DPS character. What I meaning is uh, you can use many weapon uh, if you want, but uh, it's not gonna work very well if you use a support power okay, weapon on a dps it's not going to work that's pretty much what i'm trying to say so for fitful option only i'm here to i will talk about that you can use weight smith because it will give you a 50 percent crit damage which is insane at level 80 so it's really amazing and the passive is also very amazing one of these uh, passive will active at a time and if you see currently each of them actually very nice so uh, i'm definitely going to say this is going to be the one of the best poster but if you are uh, going to you know look at look for this weapon like solar pearl for example let me show you here solar pearl actually one of the best weapon for her because uh, it increased the elemental skill elemental buzz damage by 20 percent uh, even for women one it's really amazing because also it gives the faster at crit rate so it's definitely amazing but if you're not if you if you don't have it or you don't want to pay for the weapon then obviously i would say that uh, you know the waste made is definitely the best web choice for her because uh, with this you can actually manage uh, the kit rate with the artifact set so it's definitely going to be the best the second best will be definitely uh, some energy recharge stuff because uh, you know energy recharge is important for dps and stuff uh, or sacrificial fragment will be all nice too but i would say map Mare is better than sacrificial because look at the passive triggering elemental reaction grant 10 percent elemental damage bonus for 10 seconds to stack that's been you can get um, up to 20% elemental damage bonus with elemental mastery. Elemental mastery is always nice because he's a DPS, so uh, probably DPS. Uh, look at look at her design and stuff. You can we can easily tell she probably a DPS. So yeah, pretty much uh, it's confirmation that it's, it's gonna it's gonna work for uh, the weapon. So if you have a Rotoko tail, uh, it it will work as well because it it's also increase normal and charge attack. As you can see, sorry, no, if you have a normal attack and charge attack increase by 32%. And what uh, we uh, learned from the previous mistake that uh, this kind of weapon is very powerful so if she have some charge attack power some stuff like that then you can definitely use Dodoko tail i don't i don't recommend to level up a sister weapon for her even though there are many sister actually good weapon uh, for many characters because eventually you will be shipped to uh, you know four stars or even five stars uh, if possible so it will be a waste in the end so uh, no not not the get right greatest idea if you are going to you know spend some resource because it's limited for free to play now for five star obviously she is going she is coming with a new five star weapon we don't know what but it will definitely we will uh, we will get to see in next update but if you have any five star if you have any five star to be honest just put on her it will work uh, at least better than four stars don't listen to any others just try it and check it out yourself it will definitely work now uh, for the artifact let's see so, so uh, as, as you can see this sucrose uh, artifact i'm just showcasing but not for her so yaimiko can use a lot of artifacts set and uh, to be honest as you can see if she's a dps definitely you can go with black ride and shogun because uh, it will give you 20 um, percent energy which is always nice and ever from that you will get a 75 percent of bonus damage which is uh, hard to obtain but i will say at least you can obtain 25 to 50 percent of energy 
uh, I mean elemental burst damage bonus which is uh, really good but from this artifact you can also use some pretty nice artifacts such as uh, let me show you the electro damage artifact I have, what I mean is uh, thundering fury because it will also give you a 15% electro, electro damage bonus now here is the thing I don't like to use the 4 piece to be honest so I will say you use 2 piece electro damage bonus of thundering fury and 2 piece gladiator for the state in person of attack percentage because uh, it will increase your overall attack and it will give you a 15% of electro damage bonus obviously you will use uh, the stat here electro damage bonus so it will uh, in, you know give you a overall electro damage bonus so yeah any character that you use elemental type you should use elemental type bonus because it will be, give you much much more damage than attack percentage for this will be hp this will be attack this will be a controversial thing uh, now for uh, her i think energy will be good if you put this set but if you don't wanna use this uh, emblem of several fate set then go with attack percentage it will be it will deal much higher damage to be honest and it, it will be as always little damage bonus no doubt about it it will be uh, depend on the weapon if you use which set just i show you then you can use crit rate to balance but to be honest use crit damage will be more much more you know your damage dps will be higher because more crit damage you have the better like this <clears throat> so basically i'm trying to say if you uh, want to balance crit rate you can always do something like this like if you can get 12 percent i mean 10 percent crit rate from each artifact one two three four and five you will get 50 percent anyway in some cases you may get like you know um 15 percent crit rate so it will increase your overall crit rate anyway uh, you don't even need from one of the uh, substat so you can use a crit damage circuit like this and from here you can use like uh, small crit damage and it will add overall crit damage to like 250 210 percent crit damage and 50% of constant crit rate it will increase your overall dps you know a very good dps to be honest apart from that you need to focus on uh, attack percentage as well because attack percentage also matter for any dps to be honest as you can see my shot don't have too much attack percentage but it should uh, attack percentage also matter so focus on crit rate crit damage first then attack percentage and if if you uh, going for another set and going for energy recharge will be uh, nice as well but remember too much grinding is not that good for free to play so try to get uh, uh, one or two uh, substrate is good uh, will be great what i mean is if you get a grid damage like this or a better 20 percent you don't have to farm again because it will really waste in your uh, resin you should focus on other character rather than uh, focusing on one character unless you are going to use that particular character a long time you really like that character then yeah you can farm for the character like i did for eula for example and many other character and that's really it now for constellation we don't need to talk about constellation let the character come we will decide it is good or not because constellation is for p2, p2 play anyway so just uh, let, 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 let the character come because it's nothing about pre farming here now for the talent uh, if she is a pure dps uh, it can be sub dps pure dps it's still mystery but if she is a pure dps obviously you have to crown some of the talent yeah it's it's really needed in these days at least level 9 not even if you're not going to crown her but if it's sub dps then well it will depend what is uh, her most powerful thing if her uh, elemental skill is more powerful and more useful then obviously it will be le level 9 first or ultimate level 9 first it it depends to be honest now let's talk about the attribute i personally think that every dps character should be a, a level 90 complete level 90 because it really matter for support like this character even if uh, don't mind me i did it but it's not recommended to be honest any support you have you can go at level 80 and it will do the job yeah but for dps i think maximum potential damage you need so go just do it level 90 yeah it's it's really matter now for the overall stat to be honest uh, try to balance 2000 attack and uh, hp doesn't really matter defense doesn't really matter elemental mastery probably 100 elemental mastery would be nice yeah any dps if you ask me why dps need elemental mastery just go details and read this section okay you will understand very clearly i don't even have to tell you anything remember to have minimum 61 percent of electro damage bonus how you will do it 15 percent from thundering fury and uh extra from here you remember the here okay 46 percent i forgot the actual number so i just look into the that piece you know and that's pretty much it yeah i mean i don't i don't think i have missed anything if i did please uh, comment below and i will personally address the situation and see you until next time mm -hmm.